Welcome to a brief overview of a Q&A session we had with some of our NJPA vendor partners and their Feet on the Street sales teams. The following took place at our August 2011 NJPA Leaders Conference held at Chase on the Lake in Walker, Minnesota. Tell me what the NJPA contract has meant to your company and to you personally. The NJPA has really been the linchpin to be able to get us to go to market for state and uh, municipal and county contracts throughout the United States. Well, I think that NJPA has been a great addition as a contract for Granger as a whole and as a company. Since 2009, it has meant uh, $2.2 million in volume uh, and tractor sales to this one particular county. From your perspective, looking back at your corporate implementation, if you could do something differently, what would it be? I think something that NJPA could do is actually, uh, you have a great FAQ on your website. Uh, I think that you actually might want to create maybe even a little training video. I fell short and missed out on an early opportunity by not embracing it right away. How has the NJPA contract award impacted your sales production? Well, again, it's been significant. Well, I think the NJPA contract has been tremendous for impacting sales. Uh, the state of New Jersey is a perfect example with the adoption of that contract for us. I believe the first PO that came across uh, from there was $15 million. It's, it really has been instrumental. In your opinion, what is the most important thing for your fellow sales professionals to know about the NJPA contract? You're crazy if you're not using NJPA. Well, I, it, the flexibility against, once again, the caliber of uh, people that are here, uh, the caliber of companies that are participating on the NJPA. It's so easy to use. The fact that it's so widely received. Describe your overall contract success personally and at the company level. It's been a huge success. I mean, for me personally, last year uh, in volume of sales, I did close to 400,000 on it. It's becoming very much more of a dominant force. I have not been to a bid opening in months, months. And uh, it kind of took me back, but that's because I've been using this contract and I don't have to go to a bid opening. <laughs> Would you please share a situation where the NJPA contract award was the difference in making the sale? Well, the Hill College. Anytime you can close business without being uh, competed and you can spend a lot of time up front in terms of consulting, that's the difference. Do you have any advice you'd like to share with your peers? Supporting each other with success stories that we can then take out to our marketplace. I would say the flexibility of it. Learn as much as you can about the NJPA contract. Describe a specific positive customer contract experience. It's everything from now on in the city of Gloucester, Mass, through NJPA, besides ice cream products. It has really turned our business opportunities around. Was there a time where the NJPA contract just didn't make sense to you? Did you have an aha moment, or what happened to make it all come together for you? It was an aha moment when, when it was rolled out because it was such a great fit and, and, and gave us you know another tool, selling tool, that was going to be effective for our customers and it was relevant to what their needs were. So for me, it's always been an aha moment. Well, I think my aha moment was getting almost $700,000 worth of orders from more dealers. That's what I would call an aha moment. Really the aha moment was making sure that that message is consistent, making sure that we are communicating that to every single customer in the same manner, that we're articulating the points that are going to resonate with them and that align with their goals. If you would like to see the full interviews or contact any of our participants, please go to the site below. All of us at NJPA would like to thank you for your time. We trust it was well spent.